Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Bricks. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You can tell by the title, Lego decided on their next idea sets. So if you'd seen the previous video, I made my predictions. One of them actually made it. We have two sets selected. I was hoping for more, but hey, take what we can get. They chose the Italian Riviera and then also Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And so I'm going to spend a few minutes here, talk about uh, my thoughts, my opinions, because it's kind of hard to get your hopes up and look at in detail some of these sets that are submitted because they might not make it. And there's there was 42 in this one and there's hundreds of idea sets. So you got to kind of like not have your hopes up too high. But uh, anyways, I digress. We're looking at the Italian Riviera. Congrats to Galaxy 333 big accomplishment to have made an idea set get this selected and i think they did a great job uh if you're if you're not familiar with the uh italian riviera what it looks like uh, definitely looking at some source material some of the more iconic images and i think it nails it i mean the the color selection the background the architecture everything that you would kind of imagine Kind of gets put into a small scale almost probably what looks to be a 32 by 32 base plate can probably fit modular which would be pretty cool looking at some of the pictures a bird's eye view all the small details the extra animals fishing we also have a gelato shop over there the technique for the roof as well with those sideways cylinders awesome fantastic i hope lego ideas keeps the designers keep that that technique because they do change things. Um, so this is definitely not what is going to be submitted. Maybe this is what's going to be made into an official Lego set. But they definitely change things where appropriate. And uh, looking inside of there. So that's probably some type of fishing, bait shop sort of thing. And then we've got that gelato shop. Got their little lobby living quarters up above. So we've got definitely that modular feel. Qualifies, fits in. Got that kayak off to the side, a little bit of water, so you're touching into a little bit more of that scenery. You can start to kind of place yourself where you're at with that beach, the rock work, masonry on the side. Lots of masonry worked in as well, just being part of the architecture and the style of buildings plays very well uh, to what you would imagine. The color of that one, I believe that's that's coral maybe, uh, not, not as bright here, but... Either way, the gray, yellow, and pink, great selections for kind of that Italian Riviera feel. So very, very fun. Looking forward to seeing this one uh, come to life probably in the next year or two. So this was a 2023 submission, got accepted in 2024, possibly 2025, maybe 26. Uh, they definitely have been moving with uh, some of these idea sets. So we could hopefully see it in 2025. That would be my guess prediction. And then here, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And before we get going too much, the only thing that kind of really caught my eye was the fact that it's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But the set that is submitted definitely is based on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But it's, it's named Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So I'm interested to see if there's going to be a name change there. I think that would be appropriate. If you've never seen the movie, here is a little bit of source material, what you would imagine, what you see when you watch the movie. Um, the main kind of focal point besides the, the chocolate river and the waterfall is this candy cane tree. And I think that's fantastic. Uh, the minifigures, every minifigure that you would want in this set, Augustus, Veruca, uh, we've got Mike TV, and then, uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, not Veruca, but, um, oh, I'm having a mental block here. I'm going to feel silly if I can't remember it. Her name is Violet Beauregard. Duh. Anyways, and then we've got, I need more Oompa Loompas. That is something everybody is probably going to need. Five or six, a whole army of Oompa Loompas. There's the whole lineup of the kids there. Um, what does he got around his neck? What am I forgetting? I know he was like a cowboy shooter, but I'm not sure what he's got going on there. We've got the nice looking display set. I believe that chocolate river waterfall was motorized. So that's going to be a pretty big highlight 
three thousand some odd some odd ish pieces i think from the description lots of printed things lots of extra things i believe that's already a print but not sure if that is um in the movie i know uh gene wilder he gets those and like kicks them so that's kind of like uh he plucks them off of it and kicks them so that's kind of cool uh somebody needs to probably make a chocolate river boat so that might be an addition that lots of people will have to do for this set being layered up i know there's going to be electronics in there so it's very thick i wonder maybe an opportunity for like a brown base plate of sorts so yeah you can see it very squared off in the back side and then layered as you get to the front so uh also where uh augustus gets stuck in the tube i think that would also be a cool thing for somebody to mock up and add to this so Fantastic. I know this is going to be an amazing, well-received idea set. Uh, oh, that's cool with the, the chocolate bubbling. Uh, the use of that element there, just creating that foam, that chocolate foam. Very cool. I like that a lot. Um, all of the candy steps. Interested to see how much of this actually gets changed from the uh, the original submission. And there you can see the chocolate waterfall working. Golden Ticket is going to be a cool little element. And like I said, all the minifigures is going to be really fun. Uh, interest is to see, like I said, how much gets changed. So there's so much detail. There's so much going on here. Um, I believe in the, the... No, it doesn't tell you how many pieces. So maybe I saw that at one point for the set. Maybe not. But man, good stuff. Very excited, something to look forward to. And uh, the idea sets, they, they just don't stop coming. So look forward to more videos in the future. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, what sets were you hoping? Uh, did they choose the ones you wanted? Uh, let me know what you think of the sets that were chosen. And like, comment, subscribe. But most importantly, never stop evolving.